Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Sir Timster. Today I'm going to be going over how to add a background to your games in the Blender Game Engine. So right here I just have a simple scene with a monkey in the middle and basically what we're going to be doing is adding a background scene that uh, has a camera with the same rotation as this camera. So it pretty much just looks like it's all in one scene. Uh, but if you keep moving, you'll never actually catch up to the sky, as it will always be in the same place. So in this tutorial with a Python script, we'll be learning how to align both cameras, uh, so the rotation is always the same. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a new file. I'm going to choose Blender Game, GLSL, and an animation frame rate of 60. Over here, we're going to make our first scene. So this is going to be the floor. Then over here, I'm going to add myself a monkey and move it down like so. Alright, so something like that. Then what I'm going to do is we'll give it a color. Maybe we'll make it blue for this tutorial. And then here, just give it a material by itself. Uh, then let's go to textured and that looks fine. Now over here I'm going to call this game or you can call this I don't know, game scene, whatever you want. And then also we're going to go up here and choose copy settings. This will make a new scene, so now we have another one. Here I'm going to call this one uh, background. And then over here I'm going to press Shift A, add myself a camera right in the middle, like so. Then what I'm also going to do is turn down the focal length to 25, and over here also let's select our camera and choose 25. Cool, so now that's done, let's go back here and add ourselves a sky dome, or you can add yourself a sky box or whatever. Uh, I'm just going to add a UV sphere, as to scale, smooth, tab to go into edit mode, and choose flip direction. So now that will all be on the inside, new material, uh, shadeless, and that should be fine. Let's go over here, open up a sky texture. So, CG Skies, that should be good. And then I think that should be about it. Oh, one more thing. Uh, press Numpad 1, and then press Tab to go into Edit Mode, and U, and then we'll go to Sphere Projection. Alright, so actually what you also have to do is press 1, and then press 5 to make sure you're in Orthographic View, Tab, U, and then Sphere Projection. Cool, so it should look something like this. Make sure you're in texture view so you can see it. And then what we're going to do is select our camera here, go over to game logic. Oh, and we want to go to background. And then on our camera here, let's just call it uh, back cam. And then let's go over here to our game scene and call this player cam. All right, over here, then we're going to add an always, a property as well. So this one is going to be called, actually, we don't want to call it scene. Uh, let's call it just target for now and make it a string. And then what we're going to do is go over here, add ourselves a Python controller. And in here we need a new script. So let's call this uh, backdrop or backdrop.py, up to you. And then what we're going to do is up the top here, import BGE. CONT is equal to oops bge.logic.get current controller. Let me zoom in. Alright, move it across. Then uh, scene list is equal to bge.logic.get scene list. And then own is equal to cont.owner. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is out of all the different scenes, so say in here, if you have like five different scenes, you want to find the right one and then you want to store it in the target variable so we don't have to keep finding it. So basically what we're going to do is for i in scene list, then in here if i is, oh actually, if game in i so for each object in the scene list, we're going to be checking if game is within the string. Uh, so that should result as true. Also, we have to put string around this uh, to convert it so it can be compared directly. And then down here, if that is true, we want to assign own target is equal to i. Now also, above this, 
we want to check if the target here is already unassigned. So basically, if um, oops own target is equal to nothing, so just two quotation marks, maybe that's a bit easier to see, then a colon, and let's just press tab, indent them one more line, okay? And so that if statement will run until it's been assigned, like so, and then otherwise, so else, and in here, we want to basically set the rotation. So now we want to set the rotation of our camera. So basically, uh, I'm going to assign a variable as camera, which is going to be own target uh, dot objects. So what I'm doing here is own dot target is the name of the scene that we'd use. Uh, and yeah, that's why we can just put dot objects. You can't just do this on any type of property. You have to have a scene assigned to it, like so. All right, so within uh, the scene we want, the objects from it, we want player cam. All right, and the next line, own dot world orientation, although actually you can just type in own dot orientation is equal to cam dot orientation. Okay, and I think that should be it. So let's go ahead, go back to our game scene here compared zero, and let's add ourselves a mouse for movement, and over here, let's add a mouse look, join the two together, and then also an always, minimize those, and over here, we'll add a scene, add background scene, and our background. Alright, cool, so that should be that done. So now if we go over into texture mode and press P, then there we go, we have our background scene working, which is great. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, let me know with a like, comment, or share down below. All of that stuff is greatly appreciated. If you have any problems, there should be a finish.blend down in the description as well. But apart from that, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.